These new AI algorithms and bots like ChatGPT got a lot of folks feeling like they're playing a game in God mode right now. For the first time in modern history, you can spin up intricate art renders, poetic musings, custom fitness plans, and even smart contract vulnerabilities by simply asking for it. As compelling and convenient as this all may be, 99% of you are actually training these cold couplets of code to put you out of a job sooner than was already predicted. Well, that's unless you pay attention to this entire keynote, because I'm going to show you exactly how you can flip the script on this whole AI wave to actually own these algorithms and potentially build yourself a billion dollar business off this emerging tech in the process. Now, the best part, you don't need a ton of money. You don't need a supercomputer or a quantum computer or any real technical knowledge. All you need is a willingness to learn and a few bucks to get started. So let's get into it. But first, if you aren't already, please make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to ensure you never miss another timely and potentially lucrative update like this. Intro to AI. From dystopian sci-fi films to philosophical ponderings about what it means to be human, AI has been a major point of interest for humanity. Though fully sentient, generalized intelligence is still a ways off from mass market application, clever implementations of machine learning and deep learning through projects like OpenAI's ChatGPT and DALI, as well as MidJourney, Stable Diffusion, and more are bringing AI copywriting text-to-image generation, and even text-to-video in 3D to the non-technical mass market. Without a doubt, AI, machine learning, and deep learning will be one of the most impactful developments of the next decade as demand swells alongside fresh use cases. The possibilities are as boundless as our imagination. The problem with AI. As promising and exciting as this all is, we need to acknowledge the possibility for these tools to cause significant harm. Though deepfakes are certainly a risk, the threat most likely to impact you directly is competition and mass layoffs. As AI becomes more sophisticated, more pervasive, and exponentially cheaper to use, it's nearly guaranteed they'll outperform humans at an increasing number of tasks and roles, cannibalizing more and more jobs in the process. Sure. New roles will emerge to offset some of the job losses, but I don't expect a one-to-one -one ratio here. So, what's one to do when competing against the hive mind? Simple. You adapt. Own the algorithm. As folks just begin to familiarize themselves with this technology, the near term presents a ton of commercial opportunities for those who learn how to effectively leverage these tools. Whether it's commissioning creative works, developing websites and apps, scaling copywriting or design agencies, or otherwise leveraging AI to boost efficiencies and achieve marginal gains within an existing business. Still, this doesn't stave off the long-term trend of AI's growing prominence and cost efficiency bumping against the biologically biased, cerebrally constrained, organic human mind. Well, what if, instead of simply using AI, you could own it? What if you became the go-to source for the most popular and in-demand machine learning models used across gaming, art, DeFi, and more? What if you could inject your uniquely trained AI into other NFTs to create a truly dynamic and interactive metaverse? What if you could directly capture the value generated from these AI algorithms? Would you do it? This is the billion dollar opportunity happening right now. And most people don't have a clue. But after finishing this entire keynote, you certainly will. First though, we need to talk about the tech making this possible. Altered State Machine. Altered State Machine is a decentralized protocol that allows anyone to own, train, and trade unique AI agents that exist as an NFT, or as its patent calls it, NFI, non-fungible intelligence. These agents are comprised of two parts, a brain and an avatar. 
Uh, brains are the actual AI machine learning model and algorithm, and themselves have two components. The first being a genome matrix, which establishes a set of strengths and weaknesses unique to that brain. These genes are then mapped across various categories, like strength, speed, size, etc., allowing for varied performance across applications and environments. So speed may be quite literal in a video game, but could mean something entirely different when applied to other applications. While each agent has a genomic disposition that influences their natural and potential aptitude in certain areas, they can all level up by training at an AI gym a neurally networked machine learning model specific to each environment. These gyms then simulate thousands of instances of your agent performing a certain task, integrating those learnings from those simulations into your agent, vastly accelerating their skills. How? Well, in addition to the genome, brains also have memories that represent strategies and tactics learned through experiences and training. These memories are unique to the environment in which they were created and get stored within a brain's memory tree, which can be passed down to other brains via splicing to create application-optimized agents. And the second part of an agent is the avatar, or the form. Now, avatars are the visual representation and functional form factor that allow a brain to operate within a specific environment. These avatars can range from simple 2D images all the way to fully rigged 3D models. Once created, these AI agents are able to act on your behalf, or on behalf of a client, across a number of verticals, including but not limited to gaming, art, finance, and more. In certain environments, these agents can even act as companions and virtual assistants. Applications and Environments And before we talk about exactly how you can start building out your own AI empire, let's look at a few real-world examples for context, starting with gaming. One of just three industries on track to grow by $100 billion in revenue between 2022 and 2026 at a compound annual growth rate of 8.4%. The AI League is a 4v4 football management game developed in partnership with FIFA, slated to release shortly after the World Cup. And there's also The Next Legends, which is a boxing game developed in partnership with Muhammad Ali Enterprises through a long-term partnership with Authentic Brands Group. Both of these games are developed directly alongside ASM and require agents to participate. As far as art goes, though, look no further than Thingies, a collection of avatars optimized for creating generative art pieces, which can then be minted and sold as NFTs. Other collections are available too, like Buzzies, which allow for AI-powered 3D object creation like clothing and environmental structures. Now, bear in mind, with creators earning six and seven figures selling digital assets across various marketplaces like Daz 3D, Roblox, and Minecraft, this AI could help newcomers break into a field with a historically high technical barrier to entry. But if that wasn't enough, these same buzzies may even be capable of generating AI music, which would make sense given comments by the founders and the investment from Warner Music Group, Baby Keem, and Nas in ASM's 2022 seed round. Now, though these two collections are AI-powered, they may be leveraging ASM's hive mind, since they don't require you to own a brain to use them. The other possibility here is that they contain Generation 2 brains, which will be unlocked for owners to use independent of the form at a later date. Now, last but not least are eggs, which are confirmed as breeding devices for Fluff World characters. But my feeling is that these are likely to be required to imbue non-Fluff World NFTs with an ASM brain. And want to let the record reflect that these predate the artifact animus eggs by nearly a year. Building your AI empire. Now that we've laid the foundations for grasping how this all works, let's talk about the upside and strategies for getting involved in a lucrative way, beginning with which assets to acquire and why. If you want the greatest potential upside and versatility, grab a Generation 1 brain. Though functionally similar to Gen 2 brains, which are way cheaper, the Gen 1 brains are finite in supply, 
capable of splicing to create optimized Gen 2 brains, and they have hive mind access. Now, at the time of publication, many of these features are not live yet, so details are limited. But you can find plenty of info in the official ASM Discord, where team members have declared their commitment to ensuring value flows back to the Gen 1 brains and thus, their holders. Now, before you grab one though, be sure to do some diligence to make sure you get a good deal. Something is better than nothing here, but each brain has a different genome rating. I suggest you use sites like Alpha Brain, ASM Sniper, and Prawns.xyz to get a gauge of each brain before you make your purchase. If you want even more perspective on the potential upside though, stick around until the very end of this keynote and I will show you exactly how much you could make from a simple acquisition and sale should my thesis play out. If you want a lower entry point though, consider grabbing a Gen 2 brain as they are just as capable when paired with a form to create an agent. They just miss out on the Gen 1 exclusive perks we just covered. Separate from the brains themselves, I suggest grabbing an avatar, the cheapest of which being the Genesis Boxers for the next Legends game, followed by the All-Stars used in the AI FIFA game. If you've got a little more to spend and want some immediate utility though, Thingies are a great option and allow you to start selling AI-generated art as NFTs. If you're all right waiting a bit for direct utility, and know you want to get into 3D design, grab a Buzzy. They're cheaper and work in complementary fashion to Thinkies. Rumor has it that founders have said it's their most impressive collection yet. So if you can really swing it, I would get a Buzzy and get a Thinky. If you don't want to buy another NFT though, you can get rolling with ASM's native token, Asto, which is going to be required to train ASM agents, regardless of the environment or application to mint ASM agents, to participate in governance of the ASM protocol, and to purchase assets for your agents, whether it be power-ups, improvements, items, or skins. Now, aside from Asto being a fixed supply asset that is required to train brains, holders have been able to stake their Asto in a gamified way to mine Gen 2 brains for free. These mining windows may be limited though, but it is something to keep in mind. Now add in the roughly 95% drop from all time highs, it could be a solid play. Not financial advice. Billion dollar algorithms. As stated at the start of this keynote, there's an operating assumption that society will continue to prefer convenience and crave efficiency, leading to increased reliance on AI. Today, that means cute photos on your timeline and mind-boggling curation of your feed, but this will develop into far more specific and personal applications. Now, armed with this awareness, you can position yourself to benefit by owning, training, and selling bespoke AI models to niche customers. There's a ton of ways to go about this, but here's a few possibilities that come to mind in no particular order. The first is training and selling high-performing agents for gaming. AI gaming will grow in popularity and likely convert much of the casual mobile audience. There's an opportunity for pro players to get involved and compete in AI tournaments. This is a niche audience out the gate with the money to pay for well-trained agents if it means a better shot at winning and an easier way to get into AI gaming. You could also commission art and custom design work. You could craft 3D structures, clothing, and in-game items for resale on popular marketplaces like Dash 3D, Roblox, Minecraft, and others. You could generate an AI music farm for licensing and sync placements. You could develop DeFi trading bots, where you train your agent to achieve a threshold of performance in returns, splice it until the offspring inherits similar performance, and then sell it for a premium. You could deploy a metaverse merchant to sell digital and IRL items on your behalf within a popular metaverse like the Third Kingdom, Other Side, Sandbox, or something else. Whether you choose to implement one of these strategies or decide you'd rather just buy and hold, there are other benefits to getting involved here. Well, the first one is exposure to and irrevocable ownership of the most compelling facet of the leading blockchain-based AI protocol in ASM. 
And the second is proxy access to a billion dollar R&D team working to bring you the latest and greatest advancements in AI, machine learning, and deep learning directly to you and for your benefit. The third is a front row seat and priority access to an ever-growing suite of applications and use cases for AI, spanning every vertical you can imagine, and presented through lore, entertainment, and gamification. The Singularity We're living in some wild times, no doubt. And AI, machine learning, and deep learning are just the beginning when it comes to society shifting tech. There are more unknowns than knowns, and nobody can predict exactly how things will shake out. But there is a palpable possibility that AI, like many past innovations, is misused and abused by an exclusive group of power brokers in pursuit of control and money above all else, causing undue harm to society. At the same time, the advent of true digital ownership via NFTs and open composable protocols like ASM give the average person a chance to shape, own, and benefit from this emergent technology. My hope is that today's keynote provides some perspective on how fast things are moving and sheds light on lesser-known opportunities to be empowered and enriched by this evolutionary change instead of displaced and disrupted. That's it for today, y'all. Talk soon. Peace. The sustained floor for Alter State Machine has been as high as four and a half ETH, or roughly thirteen and a half thousand dollars at the time. But some months pass, some black swans swoop in, and boom, major correction. I acquired one for 0.7 ETH, or roughly eight hundred sixty dollars, when the floor was about 0.69 ETH. That's a ninety-four percent discount from all-time highs. Squarely within the sweet spot of bear market lows, if ASM regains its all-time high floor while ETH is at least 3K, that's a 15x return. If I were to clock those ETH gains and then ETH runs to 6K, a conservative estimate, as it's only 25% higher than the all-time high, that would be a 31x return. At $9,000 in ETH, that's a 46x return. Now, this isn't even factoring in possible airdrops that could be noteworthy gains in their own right. 